season and we'll take questions. You know, obviously, I think this is an exciting time for any coach, uh, coaching staff. To, you know, this is kind of the kickoff. We've been working a long time to get to this point. Uh, first, I want to thank you guys for being here and what you mean to, to our game and, and our sport, just the coverage and the excitement that it adds to, to, uh, to the football season with great support and great coverage like you give us. So, obviously, we've got a great support staff. Our, our administration, is, they've been there, done that, so to speak. It starts with, obviously, with our AD as a, as a guy that was a, a coach and a player and did all those things. We've got great folks all around us, and we feel like that gives us a, a huge advantage, and we've got a great support staff and people that, that are taking care of us. But uh, just kind of give you an idea of kind of what our summer's been like. Um, you know, it's a weird deal college football is that these guys are on their own and they're working with the strength staff, yet you've got these expectations for them of getting things done and getting better. I think we've done that. Uh, academically, which is where we always start, has gone well. Uh, we've done the things we needed to do to be ready to go uh, this fall. Uh, they've done the things from a weight room conditioning, speed work standpoint, from everything we understand to do, to be ready to go. And that's, that's our biggest thing is to be ready to compete and, and to come out in August and, and perform. So we think we're in good shape right now. As we say all the time, you know, hopefully today's a good day. So uh, we want to win today. But up to this point, it's been good. So. Um. Okay, let's we'll start taking questions. Phil, will you uh, address the, the quarterback situation? I know you got, I guess, maybe five or six guys in camp. Well, right. Any of them to try to pass for even a real game and at Jack State, you know. But how do you see that evolving? Uh, when maybe establish your number one? Just sure. Visit with that. Please. Yeah, you know, I think we know that that football is one. You know, one by 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 a lot of things. But the, you know, if you just go single out one position, obviously the quarterback is is huge. Um, we had a bunch of guys here prior to the you know in the spring. You know, we can go through that list, but. They, did, they really got better. I mean, there was a huge improvement in, in all the things we saw out of those guys. Uh, you know, we had a transfer come in, and, and so we've got to do a great job of evaluating. And, and the, some of the things we've talked about as a staff is we will chart every throw, every snap, every rep. Uh, and then you've got to do a good job in practice of, of giving those guys as many meaningful <coughs> situational reps that – that you can evaluate, you know. Yet, you're not taking guys to the ground too many times. So that's there's an art in how you practice. There's an art in how you evaluate these guys. And um, you know, I mean, you've taught me many times you got to have two now. So you're going to see us with two quarterbacks that play. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be an every series thing. I don't necessarily believe in that. But there's going to be two guys that we can count on. I think we we found two or three guys in the spring, and then hopefully we've added another guy. So hopefully that'll be a good problem to have. You know, your druthers would be by the second week you've, you've made a, a decision. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but that, that would sure be the goal. Is, is there a, I mean, I know you haven't even been on the field yet, but your preliminary thoughts based on who you know is here, Correct. what their reputations are, what does it look like for you sure. going into it tomorrow with, with any pecking order? Or sure. You know, I think we said that, uh, you know, coming out of spring, uh, there was some back and forth. Obviously, uh, Coach got injured at the first of spring, which obviously was a huge setback. West, for a time, was the guy, and then Eli may have had a little better spring game if he just went to a one game. So they're very close. Maybe Eli's a little ahead right now. Coach is working his way back, and then of course Max Shortell came in in the summer. Don't know a lot about him other than the fact that he, you know, did what he was supposed to, weight room and, and conditioning test wise. So that's really all we have to go on there, and, and what he's done in the past, and he'll get. He'll have every opportunity to get a chance to be the guy, too. Thank you. Other questions? Uh, on, on Demarcus James, Troy May, Pope, talk about the impact, I guess, you expect from them and how much, I guess, they may take off of, of the quarterback. Correct. You know, we said that when we came in. We want to be able to, to run it and throw, you know, and, and what that means, what does balance mean to me is what can the defense not handle? You know, and I'm going from a defensive standpoint. If, if the running game is there, we're going to take the running game. If the throwing game is there, and then sometimes we're going to run it when they know the run has come. But to have two guys who are quality running backs, they're a little bit different styles. Uh, James was a guy you knew about from high school. You know, that was the guy we recruited, you know, where I was at before we knew who he was. He's really that same guy that I saw, you know, hard-nosed, tough, <coughs> get you those yards, uh, great vision. Um, and then Pope is just a, a guy that just is exciting. I mean, this guy is a freakish athlete, uh, faster than you think. I mean, this guy's got 
real talent. And to see him mature in so many ways since we've gotten here, I mean, he could be something. So, you know, I think you've got two really good guys. You know, we got to keep them well and get them, get them ready to go when it counts. But I think that could – obviously, that's going to make us better. You know, that run game opens up the throw game and, and, and vice versa. But that's two good ones for sure. Warren kind of touched on a minute ago, just kind of what has the, as you've gone around and spoken to groups, what, what has the feedback, what has the sense been like, you know, about change in general here? I think just excitement, you know. Uh, and we said that when we came here, and I, and I probably told 20 guys sitting here, you always want to do good, you always want to do well, any position you go in as a coach, you take ownership into that school, into that community, but to be from here, um, you know, to have family here, to, to have gone to school here. It just, it is extra special to me. And uh, to get to go see people that I know or people I maybe I went to school with or just people that have like interest as, as I do in, in Jacksonville State, it's been fun. I mean, it's really been fun. And, and ho you know, go spread the word a little bit about how we're trying to do things. And, um, you know, hopefully they've seen it's been more than just talk here and how our guys have acted and how they went to class. And, you know, it's big to me how they treat everybody. And um, we've seen that. Hopefully, you know, we continue to see it the way it's supposed to be. But, but just a lot of excitement out there. And, and, you know, of course, this is, I think this is the time a lot of people get excited. But it's, it's been since I've been here since, you know, late December, 1st of January. Coach, could, uh, could you talk maybe a little bit about uh, uh, Coach Gross and kind of what it was about him that made you want to bring him in to run your offense? And also about uh, him making the transition from, from coaching high school to college sure. is it something that you did a few years back about how, uh, how he's handled that and how you've been able to help him do it. Sure. Um, first, this is a guy I've known since late 80s. You know, he became my roommate. You know, we kind of got him started in high school coaching. You know, we were coaching for my dad. And uh, first, you've got quality. You know, you got one of the best people you'll ever meet. But I think what gets lost in that. Um, you know, I can go back, way back, and I just start talking about myself, about, you know, growing up in 68, watching my dad go out and get the wishbone, and watching him in 78 go to Delaware. Well, John Gross was one of the first spread guys in this state, you know. Uh, we were at Kentucky, 89, 90. I was at South Georgia when Valdosta State, and I mean, those guys were some of the first guys doing it. This is a guy that was on the evolution of that. You know, he was an offense coordinator at Hoover. Uh, then he became a successful high school coach, and I don't think sometimes people understand you don't go recruit your players in high school. I mean, I know you say that, but you take what comes in those halls and then you go try and win with it. So this is a guy that's had to do that. And so to see him be a guy, I think, that was kind of on the evolution of throwing the football in this state from a spread standpoint, yet still having to do it at a high school setting and, and winning tells you a lot about who he is. So, um, and I can go through the list, whether it's, you talk about Freeze, you talk about Malzahn, you talk about uh, the guy at Oregon. He knows those guys. He, He's hung out with them. He spoke at their clinics. Um, you know, I mean, he will be on the cutting edge. We'll be on the cutting edge. And then you throw in a good guy. Now, the biggest change in high school and college is recruiting. You know, and I think he's like me has set in on every. If you name a head coach, I probably got to hear him, and, I, and he probably has too. Some of the players he's had. So you see styles you like, styles you don't. But honesty and family and all the things we preach here is what he's going to give us in recruiting. So. I think it was a no-brainer, uh, and then of course what he not this area, knowing this area, knowing high school coaches, it's, it's been what we want. So uh, great to have him here, and he's going to do a great job. Coach, touching on that, uh, you know, obviously your background, up tempo, uh, style, that kind of thing. If you will switch gears to to defense, right. uh, how would you describe what uh, defensively what you what you guys may be? Well, you know, I. The neat thing to me about defense, and what I've always loved about defense, even though in, in my early years, my first four years, I was on the offense. I coached the offensive line. I was um, got to help call some plays toward the end there. Um, you got to be a good offensive coach to be a defensive coach, and vice versa. The thing we want to do defensively is first we want to be multiple, because with and I say this all the time today, players are sitting there with iPads with with your defense and, and coaches are there. There's just so much technology. You've got to be multiple. Um, I think the thing we've seen is the evolution, and I'm going back to my history of the wishbone to wing tee to eye formation, two backs to the spread. Um, we've always, I've, I've kind of grew up with that. 
And I think understanding those systems helps you defensively. But defensively goes back to getting off blocks, tackling correctly, effort, takeaways. You know, there's so many fundamentals that go along before you even get to the X and O scheme. So we want to be good at both. You know, we want to be on the cutting edge defensively, but we want to be fundamentally great. And, and I hope that's what you're starting to see with us. I know we made big strides in practice. We've got a long way to go, but uh, it will be our mindset here. And we don't think being good defensively makes you a bad offensive team. We think you can do both, but defense will be important here. I don't know that it will always show up that way. You know, we probably won't always be happy, but it will be a point of emphasis. It's a big deal. It's how we're going to do everything.